Did you know that there's more to cycle than just pressing C to toggle it on and off? Today we'll talk about two different key commands you can use to enable cycle and that you can even actually move the cycle range around your project without having to set the left and right locator each time. We'll get into all of that and more regarding cycle, but first, this is the Oreo Monster welcoming you back to Logic.Band. It's a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind, Logic, VoiceOver, macOS, and GarageBand user. If you haven't yet, type logic.band into your web browser, hit return, and when you land on the site, sign up for the mailing list so you can get a free getting started with Logic course. So what is Cycle? Cycle is the ability to play a section of your project on repeat. So wherever you have your left and right locator set, that section of the project will play back on repeat whenever you press the letter C to toggle Cycle on. And by default, whenever you open a new project in Logic, your left locator is always gonna be set at bar one and your right locator is always gonna be set at bar five. Now, a lot of the key commands around locators are gonna be based around command and option. So command option left bracket will set your left locator wherever you have the playhead and command option right bracket will set the right locator wherever you have the playhead. Command option home will take you to your left locator and announce its position, command option end will take you to the right locator and announce its position. Now, these are all using the Logic Keyboard Ninja key command, so if you don't have a copy of that yet, click the link in the description to grab yours. So, I'm gonna press the letter C to toggle cycle on. Toggle cycle mode on. And if I press command option home. One bar, one beat, one tick. You see that my left locator is at bar one. Five bars, one beat, one tick. And when I press command option end, the right locator is at bar five. If you're on a laptop, that's gonna be command option FN and the left arrow for command option home and command option FN and the right arrow for command option end. All right, so now if I play this while cycle is enabled. One bar, one beat, one tick. You'll see that it starts playing the project and it's gonna loop back around. And you can tell because it went back to the one guitar where at the end of the measure here, you hear the second guitar start to come in. So it's just playing that section of the project on repeat. One bar one. And I can say move to bar five. Two, three, four, five, six bars, one, five bars, one beat, one tick. Set left locator by playhead. Press command option left bracket, set my left locator there. Six, seven bars, one beat, one tick. And I just go to bar seven and command option right bracket. Set right locator by playhead. And I just set my right locator there. So now, remember I still have cycle mode on, so if I play this. Five bars, one beat, one tick. Five and actually, let me back that up a little bit so you can actually tell that is repeated. Four bars, one beat, one tick. Let's play from bar four. So I'm gonna set my left locator at bar four. I just press comma to move the Play head back to bar four, and now I'm going to press command option left bracket. Set left loc four bars one beat one tick. And you see it repeated back around there. Four bar. All right. So if I press the letter C, toggle cycle mode off. That disables cycle, and the project will play through normally. And there we have it. So it will just keep playing the project as normal. Now, the other way you can set the cycle is based on whatever region you have selected. So if you have a region selected and you want to just have the project cycle based on where that region starts and ends, you can use Command U to set the cycle range around the selected region. Now, this literally will just set the left locator at the start of the region and the right locator at the end of the selected region and press C to toggle cycle mode on for you. So even when you use command U, you still need to press the letter C to disable cycle mode once you're done using cycle mode. So let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna just press the right arrow a couple times here. Nine bars, one, one bar, one beat, one tick. 19 bars, 17 bars, one beat, one tick. So you see we have this area from 17 to 19. I'm gonna play a little bit of this. Right. So that's what we have there, right? But remember the region that goes from bar 17 to bar 19 is what we have selected. So if I press command U, that would set the left and right locators around 
bar 17 and 19 and enable cycle mode for us. So if I play now, 17 bars, one beat, one tick. You see, it's just repeating that section between bar 17 and bar 19, right? And 17 bars, one beat, one tick. If I press the letter C, toggle cycle mode off. It will disable cycle mode. And it will continue playing through the rest of the song. Seven. So that is the other way you can set up your cycle is with command U. All right. So the other thing is you can actually move these left and right locators. And one of the main ways to move them is by the length of the locator. So by right now, I have them set to be two bars long. Bar 17 is where it starts. Bar 19 is where it ends. So if I press command shift period it will move the locators forward by two bars because they're two bars long so if i press command shift period move locators forward by cycle length and if i do command option home 19 bars one beat one tick and command option n 21 bars one beat one tick you'll see that those start at bar 19 and end up bar 21 and if i do command shift comma move locators backwards by cycle length and do command option end 19 bars one beat one tick and command option home 17 bars one beat one tick you see that it move the locators back now let's go to the beginning here one bar one beat set the left locator at bar one set left locator by playhead two three four five bars one beat one tick right locator at bar five set right locator by playhead and one bar one beat and what i can do now is if i press command shift period to move this forward move locators forward by cycle length you'll see this went from bar one to five to bar five to nine because the locators were four bars apart in this example nine bars one beat one tick so that's command option n tell me that the right locator is at bar nine and command option home when i press it five bars one beat one tick says that the left locator is at bar five so there are other key commands in the logic keyboard ninja key commands list to help you move locators around you can move them by bars and etc and you can press option k to jump into the key commands list and look at what those are or hit the link in the description for the blog post where i'll list a couple more of those in the write-up now if you're confused about the difference between locators and cycle mode versus repeating or looping in logic i got another tutorial covering that and i'll link that in the description below as well thank you for checking out this tutorial hope you found that useful and helpful if you got any tips you'd love to share with the community please feel free to leave those in the comments below remember to like share and subscribe both to the youtube channel and to the email list found at logic.band that way you can get a free getting started with logic course and i can let you know when the logic keyboard ninja key commands have been updated and keep you in the loop on everything going on at logic.band want to go deeper on this topic or anything relating to mac OS, voiceover, logic, or garage man, then book yourself some one on one training by visiting logic.band slash training. Want to support us? Then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one time or ongoing donation. You can also join the band by visiting logic.band slash member and you'll get bonus tutorials, a QA with me, and more. Links to everything plus a blog post with supplemental information for this tutorial is in the description. And as always, happy recording.